through this diagram we are actually going to discuss about the alternation of generation in bryophyte prior to go with the details of this diagram we need to know about the concept of alternation of generation what does this word alternation means here alternation of generation means alternation of sexual phase and asexual phase in the life cycle as present in bryophyte and many other primitive plant organisms here in this diagram through this demarcation demarcated red portion i have tried to demarcate two different phase in bryophyta life cycle this left hand portion of this diagram indicate the sexual life cycle phase you may write it down this gametophytic generation of the portion given in the left hand side of this diagram is known as sexual portion on the other hand the right hand portion of this diagram this portion is the asexual portion so the presence of sexual and asexual phase and alternation between these phase are known as alternation of generation here we are going to discuss about the alternation of generation or alternation of sexual and asexual phase in case of bryophyta that is moss okay let's start our discussion from here the gametophytic generation why we are starting our discussion from this asexual phase or gametophytic generation because in bryophyta gametophytic generation is the major plant body major means this gametophytic plant part is actually independent in form of food production they bear the structure that is known as rhizoid that is root like structure phyloid colloid these gametophytic generation actually bear these root stem or leaf like structure and bearing those structure they are actually able to photosynthesize that means they are the part of the plant body they, that produce food for the entire plant this gametophytic generation is haploid in nature that is n i have written single n here this, this represent haploid generation gametophytic plant body can produce two type of different part one is archegonium written here this is the female sex organ and another is antheridia this is the male sex organ as we have already discussed that they do not form typical sperm typical ovum that you may find in case of higher plants like angiosperm they do not form such kind of typical sperm or ovum structure but still they produce the sexual organ the archegonium female sex organ and the antheridium male sex organ they produce several such kind of cells whenever those male sex cells and female sex cells unite with each other these are two haploid cells they unite by the process of fertilization they unite with each other and produce the diploid cycle we all have this kind of concept that why fertilization even in human we produce gametes those are haploid in nature and by fertilization they produce diploid cycle so here also the haploid female sex cells and male sex cells produce diploid cycle that is twin in nature by the process of fertilization after the formation of zygote multiple type of mitosis division mitosis takes place here zygote form multicellular embryo here the embryo formation takes place then this embryo is also diploid in nature that embryo develop into a mature sporophytic generation this is the another plant part sporophytic plant part the asexual plant part and here in case of bryophyta this sporophytic generation is completely dependent on gametophytic generation what is the meaning of dependent dependent means this sporophytic generation or the sporophytic plant part is not able to produce food by themselves they cannot absorb water from the ground 
and they are dependent on these sexual plant parts or the gametophytic plant part for the water as well as food. So, sporophytic generation are actually deployed in nature and they are the dependent phase in case of bryophyte. They produce capsule like structure and within capsule some sporogenous cells sporogenous cells can be found. Sporogenous cells means the cells that can generate spores. After a few time, with the continuation process of growth, this sporogenous cells present in capsule will produce spores. Here, spores are haploid in nature. So, these spores are haploid structure and they are produced by the process of meiosis. It has been written here. Meiosis is the process by which spores are produced from the sporogenous cells those are present in the capsule and they are from this course after growth and further differentiation produce the gametophyte generation the haploid generation which is the dependent thus their life cycle continues likewise for several generations and they always follow this mode of life cycle so this is the alternation of generation in case of bryophyte